Hi, Seth David here from Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. I want to talk to you for a minute or two, not much more than that, about QuickBooks for Inventory. It's something I've covered pretty extensively. It's somebody a lot of people know me for and they come to me for that. And I'm surprised myself when I think about the fact that I've never done a live webinar on the topic. So I'm going to do a live webinar on the topic. You can click the link below to sign up and register. But before you do, let me explain to you a little bit about what this is going to be all about. It's about QuickBooks for inventory. So we're going to be starting off with the basics as always, setting up inventory items, setting up your inventory assembly items. We're going to talk about managing the way your transactions will affect the P&L and balance sheet as part of that setup process. We're going to take a very detailed look at that item setup so that when we're finished, you're going to understand intuitively exactly what's going to happen after you've set your item up in terms of where it's going to affect your balance sheet when you purchase an item, where it's going to affect your P&L and balance sheet after you've sold an item. You're going to, it's very important to understand this stuff, especially as a business owner, because what's going to come out of that is that later on, once you're doing this, and once you do understand this, when you run your balance sheet and profit and loss, it's going to be much clearer to you when something doesn't look right. And that's important. It's important to be able to recognize when it doesn't look right because that clues you in that some investigation may be needed in order to dig in, find out what's wrong, and then fix it so that you have 100% accurate P&L and balance sheet at the end of the day. And that's important, especially when you're selling inventory around inventory itself because that's the most critical area of your books is that inventory and the related sales, accounts receivable, cost of goods sold, everything that goes with it. We're going to talk about how to run and analyze some key reports in QuickBooks that will help you better update and manage your inventory. And also I'm going to probably design an updated Excel template for use with uh, your accounts so that when you're counting inventory you can update the spreadsheet and the spreadsheet will assist in getting that adjustment in QuickBooks done much quicker when the time comes. Finally we'll talk about some best practices for setting up and maintaining your inventory in QuickBooks. So sign up. Down below, click that registration link. Of course, if you have questions, you're always welcome to email me, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.